Hello! Today I would like to talk to you about our CCI Liberty configurator. Uh, I'd like to tell you about what and who the configurator is for and also I would like to take you through the configurator to show you how you get yourself around and how you can operate with it. So let's dive into it. So our configurator was designed for anyone that is interested in Liberty units or for anyone that would like to find out more information about how you can set up the unit, how you can select the individual components and to see the overall cost of the whole configuration and how it would change based on how you would change the configuration of the unit. So let's go and have a look at uh, how you can actually get into the configurator. So the way you access the configurator is that you get on Divesoft's webpage. So you go to divesoft.com and here in a section products, you can see CCR Liberty. So this is CCR Liberty's webpage with all the information about our rebreathers. And right on top, you can see a click button for configurator. So after clicking on configurator, um, you get into the main menu of the configurator and you can start configuring your desired configuration. The configurator also works on mobile devices, so you can also go and do the, exactly the same thing on your, on your mobile device. But we are going to have a look at our configurator on the computer here. So when on the main page of the configurator, you can see that we can start with selecting the individual configurations first, so you can start off with back mount, whether you would like to start configuring a back mount unit or a side mount unit, or if you would like to start um, configuring a conversion kit. So if that's in a case that you already own Liberty unit and you would like to convert your unit into a different configuration. We're gonna have a look at this one later on, but what we'll do now is that we're going to go and I'm just going to take you through uh, one of the configurations. So we're gonna go and configure one unit now. What you can see also on the main page in a top right corner, you can actually see a selection of the currency. So you can either choose between uh, the price to be displayed in euros or the price to be displayed in US dollars. So when we come to the each individual selection, you can either select this part and move on to the next page, or you can also click on details. So I'm gonna click on the details now, and in the details, you can actually see a detailed information about, in this case, the configuration itself, or when it comes to the individual components, you can see the details of the component. So if you would like to have more of a read through it to get more additional information, you click onto details. Once you're done with it and you're happy with your selection, you go back to configurator and you go through selecting the component and moving onto the next page. Okay, so let's go and start configuring one of the units. So let's go and configure a back mount unit. So over here you can see we have a selection between back mounted candle line configuration, front mounted candle line configuration, or Liberty Light. So let's go and configure front mounted candle line configuration. So then, then you get into a page with all the information about the Liberty 2021 edition features and you can actually read through about what's changed and what additional features you're getting. If you would like to get additional information, again, you click on more details and another page opens up with detailed information about each individual feature and about what's changed. So when you're happy with that, you move on to the next page. So now we got into the page of the selection between the DSV or the BOV. So you can, again, if you would like to find more information about it, you can either click on more details, or you can actually go and watch one of our episodes of CCR Liberty in detail. We have filmed the episodes of CCR Liberty in detail, so they go sequentially in order of how you would be moving through our configurator. So you can go and find a whole video about each individual part. So let's go and click on BOV in this case. And you can see we get into the selection of our ADVs. So you can see there's a quite a variety to choose from. So you can either again go into the details if you would like additional information or watch one of our videos. So let's go and select TPs with this configuration. Same applies to the wing selection. So we'll go with the black donut. 
Same with scrubbers. So that was our episode number six. Same applies to back plates. You can go through those. Same with stands. You can select the stand that you would like to have on your unit. And we get to the page with setup details. Also, as you are going through the configuration, the configurator allows you to only select items that are compatible with the configuration that you have selected so far. So you will not be able to select items that are not compatible with the configuration that you have configured so far. So now we have made it to the page with setup details. So you can set up whether you'd like to have a standard harness or extended harness. You can add your quick release buckles. You can also select if you already own tanks not to have them with your configuration and actually deduct some cost of your um, overall total price of the unit. Um, same applies to your valves. Um, you can remove one of the handsets, but usually it's better to keep your unit with both the handsets. Um, you can select the option of uh, getting an uh, extended length of a handset cable. The handset cables come in the same length for uh, both the configurations, whether you're configuring back mount unit or a side mount unit. It's 120 centimeters in length. Um, but if you, for any reason, would like to have a longer cable, um, you can add it into the note section at the end of the configuration and um, we can make your handset cable longer. When it comes to prolonged head-up cable option, um, each unit comes with the appropriate length of a head-up cable. If uh, you would like the cable to be longer than uh, the standard length, um, you can again ask us to provide you with a, with a longer, longer cable for that. Um, again, you're gonna add it to, you can add it to the node section at the end of your configuration. Obviously the length come, is, is appropriate to the configuration, so the side mount unit has a longer head-up cable. That one's 120 centimeters. Um, the length of a head-up cable for back mount unit is one meter, so 100 centimeters. Then here you can add your helium sensors, you can add your transmitters and elbows. And then when you're done here, you go to the next page and where you can see the selection of your accessories. We had a whole episode about the accessories in CCR Liberty in detail uh, in our series. So you can watch this episode or you can go and click on more details at the individual section or at the individual part that you would like to select to get more information there. So if you do not wish to get the whole set, you can go and select the individual parts or the individual accessories by yourself. So you can select whether you would like to have a transport case with a unit. You get a discounted price or better price if you're um, getting a case with your unit opposed to getting the case straight from the eShop. You can add additional things for your, your, for your unit's head. So whether it's a scrub, uh, whether it's a head cover or whether you would like to use an oxygen sensor tester kit. Again, we have gone through all those in our episode um, of CCR Liberty in detail, which were, where we're talking about the accessories. Same applies to loops. And also on the bottom, you can add some consumables so if you would like to get some spare oxygen sensors or some disinfectant to clean your unit after diving, you can get other things like Crytox um, grease or um, softener lime as well. So now your Liberty configuration is complete and here you can see the summary of all the choices that you have made throughout configuring the unit. So everything is displayed here including also here, further down, you can see what other extras you're actually getting with your unit as a part of the package. So those are already included in the configuration. So the unit comes with way more than just the basic stuff. You get a whole bunch of extra things. We also had an episode about this on CCR Liberty in detail. So if you're interested in that, you can, you can watch that as well. And on the bottom, you can see your total price of your configuration. 
And then you can choose whether you would like to send the configuration to yourself or whether you would like to go and find your instructor that would be the best to tell you either more information about the configuration or whether uh, or information that you would like to do your course with or organize a demo dive with. So if you click on find an instructor, you get onto Divesoft webpage where you can select your country and the association that an instructor uh, teaches under and you can organize your training or a demo dive uh, with them this way. Now when we go back to our configurator, you can email yourself the configuration and over here you get the option of adding additional notes to your configuration. So for example, as we were talking previously, you would like different lengths of cables or you would like to um, put other notes such as the name of a name tag. If you're getting a carry, carry a transport case with a name tag, you can put all that there. And you just send the email to yourself and you will get it and we will receive it in Divesoft here as well. We are now just quickly going to have a look at how you would build a conversion kit for Liberty Unit in our configurator. So the conversion kit, as I mentioned earlier, is in case, is for you, in the case that you already own a Liberty Unit and you would like to convert your configuration into a different configuration. So as you saw before, you can add uh, or deduct cost of the base cost of the configuration by um, adding or removing parts as you go through, depending on what you already have at home. So for example, if we look at configuring to Liberty Light, if I click on details, I can actually see what I am getting for the price of the conversion kit of Liberty Light. And we have a list of items of everything that comes in the stock configuration. But you can obviously change it and add and remove parts as you go through the configuration. So for example, if I move onto the next step, you can see that if I need to add, um, if I need to the unit to come with DSV or BOV, it comes for, it's already included in a price, so there is no additional cost. But if I, for example, am converting from a configuration that where I already have a complete loop that I can use on the Liberty Light, I can deduct some additional cost from the, from the conversion kit. So if I select that, I move forward, and now we got a selection of the color of the R donut of the color of the unit that the unit's gonna come with. Uh, the Liberty Light usually comes either in red or in a black color. Um, right now, at, at this time, uh, we only have a black color, but the red color is going to be available again very soon as well. And then you just make your way through the configurator as you go. And the process is exactly the same as if you were configuring a whole um, unit or the whole configuration. And that's pretty much it. As you can see, it's very easy to use. Anybody can use our configurator and um, anyone can have fun and just go and configure the unit. Whether you are seriously configuring the unit to purchase one or whether you would just like to go and find out more information about the unit for yourself or just to see how the parts go together and uh, what goes with what. So if you had any further questions, uh, please visit our webpage at divesoft.com or send us an email at info at divesoft.com. Um, thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you in our next video.